Hi people, welcome to Chess247 and you are encountering another online chess blitz video. I am playing with black pieces and we have a king, queen pawn opening. I was expecting some queen scambit type of game but we have simple queen pawn. And <coughs> I'll try to play a bit fast because I want to improve my timing. These days I am getting, uh, you know, defeated by time so I need to manage on that. Let's get the center pawn off if possible and I wanted to develop my bishop after the exchange has taken place on the c5 square and castle knight f3 ok let's get the last piece into the game knight e2 And I'm going to push in the center because I have the center duo. <coughs> queen f5. Let's just hit the queen. Okay. I think I have too many pieces in this diagonal. And let's get the queens off. But white is not casting. Okay, he castled now mm, okay let's just create an escape square I don't know I mean, what should I do right now but definitely I'm going to play in the center and rook a to d1 let's protect the pawn and sub b5 and what, what, I, what I can do is right now that this D file is semi open and I'll try to open up this file and get my rooks over here and I'll do so by pushing here. Right now it looks like that I'm losing a pawn but I'll win the pawn back because I'll show you what I mean if I'm right in the calculations because of this because now I have quit control over the D file and It won't be really easy for my opponent to keep that pawn with him. But okay, so he's infiltrating. Let's just get this infiltration out. Mm, okay. He's Moving his rook again and again. Let's hit the a3 pawn because it's the weakest pawn. And now I'll double up. Over here, but okay. Um. Let's just play a6 now. f4. Okay, I mean. Let's hit f4. I don't know, I mean, what should I do right now? But definitely I'm going to attack the g2 pawn, that's for sure. I, I mean. And at least I'm winning two pawns over here, which is a good sign in the end game. And uh, I mean, I can win this pawn, but let's see. We have a take back. Let's give him a take back. And uh, I, I don't know how to improve right now. Okay. 
I would like to get the pieces exchanged and then I'll okay so my opponent resigned let's revert d4 d5 knight c3 knight f6 knight f3 bishop f5 e3 e6 bishop d3 bishop takes b3 obviously my pawns are on white square so I'll try to get rid of my white bishop it's the so called bad bishop theoretically and knight to e2 is something I don't know why it was displayed I mean yeah, these are typical middle game maneuvering there is no need to do so until your king is castled and And it's quite murky to decide which side is doing well. Although I want two pawns over here, and I think when I got pawn, I I think I made a mistake over here. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, this is mistake. I should have played this because now if we go by the game, let's say this. And I mean, I'm still having three pawns, so uh, I think it's it's going to be really beneficial for black pocket. But again, that's a very rough calculation. So, but again, I'm oh, I should just show you the, the version that I created right now. So, and I think he resigned because I have three pawns and he has only one pawn, and I'll be really happy to exchange of pieces and you know push my kingside pawns towards the queening square so yeah that's it for this video i hope you liked this video and if you did then please hit that like button subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video till then take care ta goodbye good day